wonderful. Uh, it's real nice being with all of you again. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we would like to pay tribute to some of the great personalities of the entertainment world. Most of these personalities have had some song or music that has become associated with their name through the years. We would like to play four of these songs for you right now, and we'd like you to see if you can guess who the personalities are before we tell you. Back in just a moment, ladies and gentlemen, with a wonderful surprise. But first, here's a word from our sponsor. Throughout the years, ladies and gentlemen, entertainers have been responsible for bringing happiness to people by making them forget the realities of the everyday world. Back in the year 1929, when everyone was worried about the stock market crash, a young man named Nick Lucas came along and made everyone happy merely by suggesting that they tiptoe through the tulips.
showers away and if I kiss you in the garden in the moonlight will you pardon me come tiptoe through the tulips with me Incidentally, it's been a long, long time since you first introduced that song, hasn't it? 1929. That's 1929. Not but let me tell you something, folks. He's been making people happy with that song ever since. And I know because we're neighbors and we live quite close to each other in the San Fernando Valley. And because we do, I think you ought to pay us a visit real soon again, won't you, Nick? Well, all you gotta do, Lee, is ask me. Okay, I will. See you in church. We go to the same church, too. Some time ago, while on a concert tour of the East, it was my honor to be presented a wonderful portrait of the great Polish pianist and patriot, Paderewski. It is one of three recognized portraits of this great man in the world today, and I'd like you to see it. It was painted by the eminent American painter, Stanley J. Gordon, who knew of my admiration for this great man. There were many compositions that were associated with Paderewski, but one in particular that happened to be his own composition that people requested everywhere. I would like to play it now for Mr. Stanley J. Gordon and the members of the Polish Fine Arts Club of Rochester, New York. It's called the Minuet Antique.
throughout my lifetime, ladies and gentlemen, it has been my great pleasure to be associated and know some of the great people in show business. But one particularly who made a very, very lasting impression on my mind is the unforgettable star of the theater, Miss Gilda Gray. So happy to see you again, Gilda. Nice to be on your program, too. Thank you. I will never forget the invitation Ralph Edwards extended to me to tell about our friendship on This Is Your Life. Oh, yes. You know, people still come up to me and ask me about that wonderful program which revealed your life story in such a heartwarming way. And I see that you're wearing the bracelet that Ooh. Ralph gave you. I'm with all those charms <laughs> and all that. I know they all mean something, Gilda, and I wish we had the time to go into your wonderful career and tell all the folks about it, but maybe you could give us a few of the highlights. Well, here is a Statue of Liberty, where a small Polish girl saw America for the first time, see? Mm -hmm. And here, Lee, here is Jack Lisa's in Milwaukee, a little beer mug. Oh, yes, that's my hometown, too. That's right. <laughs> well, here is something, oh, the Turnabout Theater, where I just finished 50 weeks appearance right here in Hollywood. And you were wonderful there. Thank you, darling. Oh, here is the one that I love. W.C. Handy's trumpet. W.C. Handy, the composer of the St. Louis Blues. That's right. And if I'm not mistaken, Gilda, didn't you first introduce the St. Louis Blues? Well, yes, I did, Lee. Um, you see, St. Louis Blues and the blues that were written by W.C. Hand, Handy have been written many years before I came on the stage. So when I did come to New York and I sang the St. Louis Blues with the dance, Oh, the shimmy. Yeah, that's right. That made it famous. That's it. <laughs> well, Gil, I'm sure everyone would love to hear you do it again. Would you? I'd be delighted if you play it for me, Shimmy darling. too? Yeah, a little. Okay, I'll put you in the mood. Good.
this one. <laughs> oh, I enjoyed it too, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sure you're all thrilled to hear that memorable rendition of St. Louis Blues again from Miss Gilda Gray. <laughs> thank you, Gilda. Well, Lee, that's very nice of you to say that, dear. And it's so wonderful to be here. I want to thank you so much. But I want you to do something for me, Lee. I will. I want you to play the most marvelous music that is associated with you that you play so beautifully. Chopin, if you please. I'd love to. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye, Well, we hadn't really planned on it, but for Gilda, a little Chopin, huh? In the world of opera, the role of Pagliacci, the clown, has always been associated with the great tenor Enrico Caruso. And in his memory, we would like you to hear the famous aria from that opera, Vesti la Giuva.
singing voice of Mr. Ralph Sigwald in our tribute to Caruso. So until we meet again, this is Liberace in Hollywood saying thanks a million on behalf of everyone on our show. And until we meet again, I'll be looking. <laughs>